إسلامي وإيماني الله الكون وزمن بإسلامي وإيماني الله الكون وزمن Big bellies We don't need them kind of people because the companions of the Prophet وسلم, they was not like that. I don't know why, but as I'm reading the seerah, I did not find many of the companions of the Prophet وسلم, like that. <laughs> Even the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa did you know that after he was 40 years old, he fought all those battles after the age of 40. And did you know that he fought in at least 17 major battles after he was over the age of 50. That means he was carrying on his body 14 kilos of armor where the sun was like 36 degrees Celsius. Up and down mountains riding on a horse, riding on a camel, riding on a donkey, and then fighting in the battles. How could he have done that if he was like that? <laughs> no, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wasn't eating a whole lot, of, whole lot of whatever it is that we eat. The companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they was lean, tough, hard men. And most of them who were fighting, they already was over 40, 45, and 50 years old. I ask you this, what can the 45, 50 year old men in this room do? <laughs> if I told you to run back home and come back here, you couldn't do it. In Mecca, we were standing in Mecca one day. MashaAllah, the Saudis had won the, uh, the, uh, they had won the finals for the, the, the World Cup or something. They didn't win the World Cup, they just got to the finals. You know the World Cup, you guys know what it is. And so they was all running, all the young guys were all running through the streets and everything like they had fought the war, beat the Yahudis and everybody. <laughs> they were blowing horns and waving the Saudi flag and in the back of their cars. I thought, man, man maybe, they had just, maybe they just took Jerusalem back. <laughs> I said, what are they doing? They, they, they won the finals of the, of the World Cup. Some football. So you got the young boys kicking the ball through the streets and the old men sitting up on the side of the road with the ball in their bellies. <laughs> so then what can young boys kicking a ball and the men who swallowed the ball, what can they do? <laughs> now it's not really a joke. It is sad. It is tragic that we don't have young men who have the spirit of jihad or vigilance, or defense, or consciousness, or discipline, because they playing games. And we don't have old men to govern those and guide those. We don't have the old men to govern and guide and to be the examples for those people. You got the separation there. And so what I meant by that, I'm giving an analogy, really, that we have two separate groups that itself we need to change. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-